hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Today what I got in store is something a little bit different, a little cool, something that I saw and I just wanted to get and uh, share with you all. I never opened this up before and uh, I'm going to open it up on camera so my first impressions are with you all. This is the Mojo Digital Scorekeeper, the best digital scorekeeper. Uh, I thought it's interesting, it's like a small little, just little screen that uh, counts uh, your life points for Magic the Gathering. It says it's easy to use, fun to share, battery lasts for months, used with MTG, Magic the Gathering, D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons, and many more games. Patent pending, you see a little image of it. It is quite small, about uh, a little bit bigger than a card I would say. No more dice rolling off the table. It's just uh, trying to sell it. Save more, save your phone battery for calls and texts. Press up a button for dual player mode. Secondary counter for infect energy resources and more. It's pretty cool. Works with games like MTG, Ticket to Ride, D&D, &D, and more. Designed by D1 Gaming, Be Beaverton, Oregon, USA, made in China. D1Gaming.com. Boom. Interesting. And uh, it comes in actually a nice little thing. It looks like they have these little cutouts here because maybe they want to try to sell at retail. I'm not sure if I've seen these at any stores or anything. I bought this offline. And it was like uh, $13 or something like that. I believe $13. And uh, I just want to open it up and uh, check it out with you all. Let's go ahead and uh, just open up the box. Nice uh, packaging. Very simple, but looks cool. And let's get a first impression of it. Alright, how do we get this out of here? Rawr. Cool. Right off the bat, uh, it's in a little plastic bag. It's a small little screen, I would say maybe like two and a half inches by like one and 70.75 inches. I'm just guessing. Got like a plus five button, a plus one, negative one, negative five, plus five, plus one, negative one, negative five. I believe this screen is split in two for each of your scores. And on the other side, you got plus minus, uh, probably switches the screen orientation, like a reverse button, maybe the power, 20, 30, 40, probably for setting your life, and a plus and a negative. Mojo Digital Scorekeeper. You got the plains, the uh, the water, the swamp, the f uh, mountain, and the forest <laughs> island. I called it water. And now uh, let's open this up. Let's check out the rules. It does come in a little plastic bag, which is cool. And it looks like there's one of the pull tabs for the battery in the corner. So I wondered if it did come with a battery, and it looks like it does. It looks like it just takes a lithium cell CR1220. 3 volt. Cool. So I'm going to just go ahead and put this back on. I'm going to flip it over as I remove the thing to see if anything happens. Rawr. Okay, I'm just going to remove it here. Boop. And it went to zero, 0, it turned on. Let's go ahead and turn it off real quick. Easy buttons. The buttons feel actually pretty nice. A little squishy, a little spongy. You kind of have to push them a little bit firm. Yeah, so you can uh, disadjust, I guess, your life total. You got 20 life, 30 life, commander for 40 life. Interesting. So let's just hit 20. You got 2 life. This is, I guess, the counters. Interesting. Well, let's read the instructions real quick. Very tiny, just a simple piece of paper. It says A is uh, power to turn the screen on and off. Press the power button 13. Mojo will display the last total uh, left on screen when it was last powered off. Reset to reset Mojo. Hold down the reset button for 12. Reset button 12 for two seconds. Choose your starting total by using the total button 14 to cycle through totals. To reset it, you hit 12, and to set your total, hit the total button, which is 14, the 20, 30, and 40 button. Flip to share. Mojo can display your opponent's total uh, rounded, uh, rotated 180 degrees so that it can be easily read. To flip your opponent's total, press the flip button 11. Mojo will underline their total and display you based on the current settings. So the flip button is 12, I believe. No, it's 11 right there. So that flips it. So we'll check that out in a minute. 
adjusting primary totals, the primary totals can be added to or subtracted from n increments of 1 and 5 using the adjustment buttons 1 to 8. Boop. 1 to 8. All these buttons are for adjusting the score. You got plus 5, plus 1, negative 1, negative 5. And that's for you and them. And then replacing the battery. Remove the battery door and remove the battery. Insert a new battery. Insert a new CR1220 battery and close the battery door. Easy, simple instructions. Alright, so it's a small thing. It's about a little bit bigger than a card, I would say. I actually want to go grab a card just to show you what it's like. Alright, so about just a little bit bigger than the size of a card. Pretty cool. Pretty good. Pretty compact size, honestly. And uh, it is made out of just plastic. Uh, not bad, but it's solid. It says designed by D1 Games in Portland, Oregon. Even though this says a different place in Oregon, but that's all right. Made in China, model MSM01, patent pending, D1Games.com. And uh, yeah, let's go and turn it on and see what it does. You hit the on button. You go ahead and uh, hit the reset. Let's just restart this. It's at zero. Let's set our life to 20, just like a regular magic game. Boom, it's set at 20. And uh, let's say, let's reverse it. So, cool. This is me. This is you. So, I have 20 right now. And you have 20. So, you set this down on the table. You can see my life. You can see the errors. You can each count for it and be like, okay, take two damage. Boom, boom. I'm at 18. And say you gain like four life. One, two, three, four. So, I'm at 18. They're at 24. It's pretty cool that you can flip it for each other. So, you can each see the t life total really easily. If you don't like that, you can just boom it back. And uh, also, you got the poison counters in the corner, so you can be like, okay, I hit you with three, three infect. One, two, three. Got three infect counters there. And uh, over here as well, or whatever counters you want to have there. That's uh, it's actually pretty cool. And uh, you can just go ahead, let's see if it goes into the negatives. It doesn't go into the negatives. So zero is the least it can do. Uh, nice looking screen. I do like the option that you can kind of flip it for both of you. And let's go ahead and reset this again. And let's see what we can go up to. It's at 40. Yeah, sure. And let's just keep plusing. I'm assuming it's going to go to 99. <laughs> I mean, 999. But let's just find out. I'm just curious what happens. The buttons are a little bit spongy, but they work, and uh, there's a little bit of tactile feel. Really like the design of this. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, real small, real compact. A lot of people say, why wouldn't you just use like pen and paper? And because this is uh, just cool. It's something different. And then I don't have to physically be writing anything. I don't have to be make sure I bring a pencil or paper. And this thing costs like $13. And I just remember buying like a moleskin notebook from a store for like $20. So economically, this might make a little more sense in the long run. Thus, I don't know the price of the batteries, but we'll see. Anyways, I thought this was a really cool piece of technology that I wanted to share with you all. I wanted to get your opinion on it. And, uh, yeah, it looks like the max we can go to is 999 Cool. And, yeah, just uh, a lot of fun. This thing is pretty cool, and I can't wait to try it out in my next FNM. And, uh, yeah, let me get on what you guys think about it. It's pretty cool. I really like the function where you can have uh, the me and you for both of you. Really cool design. Really small, compact. Looks sturdy. I bet you can drop it and nothing bad's going to happen. It is a little... It moves a little bit the back of the battery door. And it said the battery lasts for months, so I'll have to keep you updated on that. Pretty cool. Definitely look for Magic the Gathering here. Got the five symbols. And, uh, yeah, just a really simple life counter. And I won't have to be using my phone anymore or anything like that. And, yeah. Pretty cool. Anyways, this is the Mojo Digital Scorekeeper by D1Gaming.com. And I uh, just want to share it with you and get my opinion out there. And yeah, thought this was pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think uh, it's worth it, if you'd use it. And uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. Alright, just one more thing before I end this video. I just wanted to see if it would fit in some deck boxes that I have. Today I'm just going to try an Ultra Pro deck box in the Ultra Pro Satin Tower. Just two I have off hand. And I'm going to just go ahead and move the cards real quick. 
And uh, let's see if it just fits in here without any cards. And uh, yeah, it's not poking over the top. It's pretty much flush with it. Close is fine. But, yeah, it actually fits in there. I'm going to go ahead and just throw in a 60 card deck. And let's just see what happens. I think it's going to fit perfectly. Just if you're wondering how you're going to like transport this thing. Yeah, it actually fits in there. Perfect. Cool. So that's just in like an Ultra Pro, just kind of like plastic deck box, just a generic one. Fits in there perfect. And then let's go ahead and try a Satin Tower. I believe I have two decks in here. Yeah, I do. Whoa. And let's just see. It's a little tight this way. I could shove it in, but I'm not comfortable with that. And it does fit this way quite good. I'm going to just go ahead and throw in a 60 card deck. I'm sure you could probably fit a 100 card deck in there. It definitely looks like it with this in the back. And I'm going to close this up. Perfect. And then lastly, I want to see if it fits in the bottom container of this. I kind of doubt it, but let's just try. Yeah, no, it's not going to fit this way. Huh? Anyway, it's pretty cool. Just wanted to let you guys know about uh, what deck boxes would fit in just with a couple I have. And uh, yeah, let me guys know. Let me know what you guys think about this. Thanks for stopping by. Have a wonderful day, and uh, I'll catch you later.